my ultimate lick back is letting you do that to somebody else and keeping me the fuck out of it. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going. Hello, my babies. Welcome back for another video. Okay, so today's video is kind of like a part two to my last video. Um, essentially, my last video was about toxic relationships and things like that. And at the very end of the video, I was talking about getting your lick back. I was talking about seeking revenge. And I wanted to make an entire video dedicated to seeking revenge because as a woman who has done a lot of things in my life, I have a lot of insight on topics like this, especially anything relating to being a toxic human being because there was a time in my life where I actually enjoyed getting my lick back. I enjoyed seeking revenge and I enjoyed being a conniving, vindictive person. I loved it. It was very fun for me, especially towards the men that I dated. And um, as a healed person, I mean, it's been a very long time since I've gotten my lick back because I started pretty young. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I always like to keep it real with y'all. I started dating young, I started relationships young, and I started being a crazy girl very young. So I have stories for days regarding these topics, even though I'm only 25 and I was in a relationship for a long time. I still have stories. So um, buckle your seatbelt because one thing about me is I never talk about anything on this channel without actually dealing with it or going through it myself. And I really wanna talk about it because the truth of the matter is the ultimate lick back is moving the fuck on with your life, growing and just getting that paper up, stacking your money, loving yourself, treating yourself with the respect that you want others to treat you with, and literally ignoring the person that hurt you to the point where they actually wanted you to be the person that was gonna get your lick back on them. So I'm gonna talk about that today. Um, I also wanted to mention that the video that I posted, um, I don't know when I posted it, I think I posted it earlier this week, um, it got um, age restricted. I didn't know this because I was wondering why are the views so low? And then I realized it was because it got age restricted. So, so sorry about that guys. I did not do that. I thought YouTube was more advanced and allowed you to talk more openly about things regarding the woman body and what we like to do with it in our free time, but I guess not. So we're going to just, you know, I'm gonna link it down below for those who can watch it that are 18 and up because I do wanna plug the video, it was really good. Um, and I really discussed in like very thorough detail about toxic dynamics and why we should no longer engage in them. So please go watch that. I also have literally like 14 or 15 video ideas written up and ready to go. So. Brace yourself, I have a lot of really great videos coming this fall and I'm excited to essentially share them with you because I have a lot of insight on so many different topics and I just want you guys to really blossom and flourish from any type of advice that I give you. All right, I talked enough. Um, today's video is not sponsored. We're just gonna kind of speak from the heart. This is not like a written concept. I'm really just speaking from whatever I feel and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to follow me on Instagram. Instagram's been playing me recently. So um, YouTube is my first baby. That's what I'm gonna nurture. But um, if you love me, you'll follow me on IG. Okay, let's get into the video. Okay, let's talk about my own personal lick back, my own personal revenge. So not only am I the queen of, of getting revenge, I am a cancer. Us cancers, we're so freaking loyal, we're so faithful, and we ride for the people that we love. And when they hurt us, we just naturally want to fight. We want to literally make you suffer. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, like, in my young, childish journey, I enjoyed very thoroughly getting my lick back and getting at the people that hurt me. But I have to say that as a former revenge seeker, I really gained nothing out of it um, healthy for myself. And I'm gonna explain. So there was a few different times where I, you know, would catch a guy that I was talking to, like cheating or whatever, and I would immediately like go talk to his friend. And there was a specific occasion where I was away in the Bahamas, and I remember I was dating this guy. He was so freaking cute. I was obsessed with him. And we were talking for a while leading up to my vacation. And then while I was on vacation, he broke up with me. Like how disgusting and deplorable, right? He actually sent it to me via email because I wasn't using my phone on vacation because my parents didn't want to pay for like the upgraded plan back then that like allows you to, 
I guess, texts internationally. So I would email him back and forth. And one of the emails that he had sent me was like a breakup email. And I was like, what? And I found out when I got back home that he was talking to like his ex or whatever and like went back to her. So the first thing that I did was I went after his friend. I was like, boom, I already know what's up. His friend wants me. It was simple, one, two, three. I remember I hit up his friend, his friend was down. We were very much getting involved. And then I realized not only did the guy that I did this to, like he cared, but not really. Like he like cared, but he also was still like entertaining that girl. So he just like wasn't really like showing me like that much issue i guess he just wasn't showing me that much issue but then on top of it now i'm hurting an innocent bystander by getting involved with this guy who i'm not even interested in i'm literally just dating this guy to get back at the other guy so it eventually started to crumble me and that guy ended up splitting up because i had to be honest like by the way bro i don't really like you like that and i think like, i got a lot of bad karma from doing this to people and it wasn't the only time i ever did it i think that hurt people hurt people right when you're hurting you want to hurt somebody else or you want to bring somebody down with you and unfortunately when you're seeking revenge it's going to bring you to a place of insanity a lot of women that i know personally who are seeking revenge were like happy amazing women angels in their relationship they were faithful and loyal to their man they were cooking for him fucking him four times a week loving on him kissing on him supporting him and all of his shenanigans you know sitting and watching sunday football with him even though they didn't want to come to find out he's cheating or whatever it could be a million different things and now you know the first thing that you do is you bring yourself to insanity by sleeping with his friend by you know trying to do everything in your power to make this person hurt and and feel and in return, you're going crazy. You're driving yourself to insanity. You're not, you know, behaving like your normal self. You're not moving forward with your life, which is to me the ultimate lick back. Um, and you're just going down a very shitty slope, essentially. A shitty slope is what I want to call it. And when you stoop to the level of those who hurt you, you become exactly like them. Every guy I meet, who I find to be somewhat jaded, when I get to the bottom of why they're jaded, it's always because of somebody else who hurt them. So let's just, let's dissect that a little bit. When you are hurt by someone and you stoop to their level, you become the person that you hurt or the person that hurt you, I mean. You become that person. And I really feel like there's a lot of pure people out there. I consider myself to be pre pretty pure especially now that I'm 25 and I, I'm super genuine. I'm, I'm very intentional. I don't do things to hurt people anymore. Um, and I think that one thing that you're going to have to accept in life, and it's really fucking hard, but you have to accept it, is that troubled, unhealed, very revenge-seeking people gravitate towards pure people. So if you feel like, cause you know that saying where people are like, oh, you are what you attract, which I do believe in that saying as well, but I also believe that when you're a pure, good-hearted, kind human being, very negative people are drawn to that because they want what you have. It's called energy stealing. They want to get your vibe. They want whatever you have to rub off on them. And then what ends up happening is they shake up your life, they ruin it, and then you end up becoming like that person. And then the cycle just continues and continues. One thing I had to learn is that my ultimate lick back, my ultimate revenge was essentially moving on with my life. And I learned this in a very toxic relationship that I went through. I kept doing the same thing over and over again. And Aisha always says this, you play stupid games, you get stupid prizes. And it's like, when you play into the antics of somebody who is playing you, you don't get anything good out of it. So I decided to break the cycle when I was 17. I dated a really toxic guy, talked about him a million times on this channel. Good for him that he's constantly being made as content because I only dated one narcissist in my entire life and he's the one. And he was the last guy that I decided not to uh, play stupid games with. When he played me in the end of our breakup, it was a very, um, out of the blue breakup we went out to dinner he dropped me off at home we never pretty much spoke again it was really freaking scary he wasn't answering my calls he blocked me on social media 
I was blindsided, come to find out he was cheating and things like that. And I remember being physically ill because all I wanted to do was drive to his house and freaking beat him up. Like I wanted to hurt this person because he hurt me. And I'm not going to say that I was perfect in that breakup. There was a few things that I did that I didn't like. But when I finally started to mourn the loss of this person, I realized fighting him, hurting him, texting him long paragraphs, begging him on my hands and knees isn't going to bring back the, the version of him that I enjoyed, right? I now know who he really is and I don't actually really like him very much. And when I started to move on, because I did, not only did I move on for myself, but I moved on because it was my only choice. Um, the second I started to move on and focus on me was when he decided to come back. <laughs> That's interesting. So you mean to tell me that when I want you, you don't want me. But when I move on with my life and I'm not seeking revenge and I'm not coming after you is when you're begging for me to date you again. I started talking to my ex-boyfriend at the time and my ex-boyfriend, the one prior, the narcissist, texted me and said, if you stop talking to this guy right now, I'll take you back. I'll take you back. I will take you back. Please, Haley, stop talking to him. You moving on is killing me. I just want us to be together again. And I just remember thinking like, wow, like me moving forward with my life and like enjoying it and being genuine and meeting good guys, guys that actually really do like me and things like that. Now you want me back. You're going to throw away this girl that you cheated on me with. You're going to become the better man and all of this. And, and, and it was just in that very moment that I realized the ultimate revenge is literally moving on. And, and I'm not saying that we're, we're trying to seek revenge, right? Because I'm not, I'm not trying to seek revenge at all. I think really the, the principle here is that this isn't to get them back. It's just to kind of make peace with the decision that had to have been made, right? Because I think a lot of people, they feel like they lack closure in certain relationships ending. There's no peace. You feel like, wait, I want him to hurt the way I am hurting. And there's a million different things that are going in your mind. And the truth of the matter is, men especially, not so much women. Well, actually, you know what? This goes both ways. It goes for men and it goes for women. Moving on with your life, with genuine and pure intentions is going to allow that person to really be like, wait, they're happy without me. Oh my God. Especially the person who did something in hopes to literally ruin your life. And I also wanted to say that who are you? And, and I'm speaking as a big sister, because again, I have done everything that I'm telling you not to do. That's something that I can give you. I'm giving you advice based off of my own life experiences. Anytime I've ever gotten my lick back and stooped to somebody's level, something bad happened to me. Seriously, I said it in my last video, when you seek revenge, you dig a grave for yourself and for them. You're never going to walk away unscathed from a situation like this. So when you are moving forward with your life and you're, you know, trying to better yourself and you're trying to become the better version of yourself, you're going to see that when you reflect and you say, okay, hurt people do hurt people. It's not your responsibility to be delivering their karma. You're not God. And I'm, I'm not saying that everybody watching this video believes in God. So I, I don't like to speak too um, much about the higher power in my videos, but it, I'm speaking from my own personal experiences. You have no right to deliver somebody their karma. You have no right. And I get it. Somebody could have been disgusting to you. You could have been an angel the whole time. Cause I know a lot of people in the comments are like, but I was so good to him start to finish and he played me for a fool and I get it. I get it. We've all been there. Like, like I said earlier, like negative, toxic, revenge seeking people are very much attracted to the purest of people. I actually saw something like on TikTok the other day about, and it, this is really nothing to do with it, but I just want for principle sake for you guys to get this. It was, like a girl being like, okay, a guy that's looking for a casual hookup. And then the girl who like wants to sleep around shows up and he's like, nah, not her. And then the girl that shows up next is the girl who wants a committed relationship. He goes, ah, oh, perfect. That's the girl I'll pick. And it's like, why are you picking the girl who wants a committed relationship when your intention is to literally just fuck her when you could pick the girl who literally just wants to fuck? It's because people are attracted to the purest of people, especially negative people. They want that 
feeling that you provide them. You provide them safety and comfort and a place for them to use you as an emotional dumping ground. Like there is nothing worse than an experience that I had right as soon as me and Alex broke up and I met a guy and he came to my house and he used me as an emotional dumping ground. I mean, he told me about all his traumas and his life experiences and I'm thinking, why are you sharing this with me? This is like, and I just felt like very weirded out by it. And, and he ended up like dogging me out and playing me a little bit and like kind of like spinning back around. He actually just texted me recently, you know, apologizing with this long paragraph. Like, and I didn't respond obviously because I'm in a completely different space and, and life predicament now that I would never respond to a fling. But um, I just think it's interesting that he, um, was constantly spinning the block knowing that he would use me as like an emotional trauma dumping ground and then blame his trauma as to why he hurts me and this, you know, constantly regurgitate the same thing over and over again because the truth of the matter is people like that are attracted to good people. And it's not your, it's not your duty to, to deliver them their karma. It's not your duty to uh, make them feel what you feel. I promise you anybody who puts you through um, pain of that sort is going through it, okay? Because for instance, sit in your thought right now. I want you guys to really sit in this thought because I find this to be very helpful. Anytime you sit and say, why did he do this to me? Say, would you do that to someone? If the answer is no, like I genuinely would never do that to someone, you're a good person. Like you're not that type of person. And, it, and it's actually really nice when you realize that you wouldn't do to others what people like that are doing to you. And, and that's what makes you pure, right? That's what makes you good. So let's not stoop to their level now to become like them. For what? And I'm telling you, I know people who have seeked revenge and they got, you know, they got their person back for a little bit. But the, but the pattern continued. Never does one person have um, bad intentions Hi, Steel. What are you doing, Bubby? Never does a person have, you know, bad intentions or not, not good intentions trying to get back with someone and then they proceed to continue the relationship and think it's gonna go good. In what world would a relationship go good if your intentions were very unpure and very wrong. You did it just because you wanted to suffocate this person. If a person cheats on you and you have to break up with them, look at that as a sign from God, okay? Like my favorite thing about life is like somebody's rejection is always God's protection, right? If you feel rejected by a person and they did something that was out of the blue and hurtful to you, Look at that as a way of God protecting you from whatever unnecessary evil could be coming your way. There have been plenty of times where things have been unwritten or left unsaid between me and so-and-so, and I would sit in it and be like, but wait, why did this happen? Now I wanna do this and X, Y, and Z, and it's like, no. No, whatever had happened was saving you from something greater that is not good for you. Stooping to their level and, and becoming a scorned woman, becoming a woman who purposefully goes out of your way to hurt people, there's no way you can walk away and be happy. And for me personally, I choose happiness. I prefer being happy over being nasty and vindictive. Yes, there was times where I was vindictive and I would like walk away laughing, ha ha he he. But like as time went on, it didn't change my, my circumstances or my predicament, which was that I needed to heal. Every time that you're trying to, to avoid healing, you're always like doing something you shouldn't be doing, right? You're seeking revenge, you're sleeping around, you're drinking too much, you're not paying attention to your priorities. There's a million things that we do to avoid healing. Just heal, <laughs> just fucking heal. Like it sucks, by the way, even at 25, I've had experiences that make me want to literally explode, and I just don't. I tell myself, eh, my ultimate look back is just existing. Like them not having me in their life is very painful. That sucks, like literally. 
I know what I have to offer. I've been told by many people who I am, what I am, and I also trust myself and I know who I am and I know what I provide. If you're not gonna respect that and you're not gonna fuck with it and you're gonna leave or you're gonna cheat or you're gonna do something that is just not of good judgment or you wanna you know, do something to me that makes me question you as a friend, my ultimate lick back is letting you do that to somebody else and keeping me the fuck out of it, okay? Moving in silence is truly the best revenge in life and essentially just existing and pretending that person doesn't even exist. And again, it's not easy. It's a painful experience. I have had many moments where I just wanted to say, da, 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 but I don't, but I don't, and I won't. You're not gonna get me to do it. So yeah, it's just not gonna happen. And I feel at peace. And, and the truth of the matter is, you're gonna feel better with time. You know, the saying that I love is that time doesn't heal all wounds, but what you do with the time does. You think that time can elapse between you and a person and all you do is spend that time trying to seek revenge, trying to get him back, trying to do X, Y, and Z. How do you expect yourself to ever get over this person? You think it's gonna heal your wounds when you're spending the time doing that? When you could be spending the time doing the inner work, healing from your past traumas, surrounding yourself with good people, going to yoga, getting in the gym, adopting a fucking dog, I don't care. You could do a million different things to, to su um, support yourself and to allow yourself to heal properly. And what you do with that time that you're giving yourself is really crucial. A lot of people choose not to heal because it's more painful. No, it's not. I promise you it feels painful in the moment, but avoiding your problems is, is more painful long term. It is. And I think that every time I have a conversation with you guys about anything, it always ends up coming back to you. Every situation in life comes back to you because you know why? The only person that we can truly control is ourselves. We can't control other people. You want to. I'm like the most controlling person I know. I used to be able to puppeteer a couple people in my life, but it eventually comes to an end and it fucks me over. So the truth of the matter is I no longer have the ability to control. I'm walking in my feminine and I have no time to be doing this with people. If you don't want to be in my life and you want to hurt me, then bye, I don't care. I really want you guys to grab from this video that it's really crucial and important and helpful to yourself to move forward with your life in any situation that isn't serving you. I am always going to tell you guys like it is. I've done it. I never give you advice about things I've never done. I've done them. And I'm the queen of, you know, being gorgeous and living my life. And, and even me being me still goes through things. I still go through pain and suffering occasionally. And the way that I choose to spend that time is what has helped me truly grow as a human being. I don't get as worked up anymore because I know that a lot of the things that people do to me or do to others or whatever, it's not a reflection of them, of me, it's a reflection of them. And when you start to empathize with the people who hurt you, you start to feel sorry for them because you know you would never do that to somebody. I know I wouldn't. A lot of the things that people do to me, I wouldn't do to them or I wouldn't do to anybody. So I empathize with those who feel that it's okay to do so and I hope that they eventually heal and that somebody doesn't do it to them. I mean, somebody will because that would be the lesson that they were gonna be taught and that's the part that sucks. I mean, me being me, I did some fucked up shit in my past and it got delivered to me the exact same way um, and I wasn't expecting it. So my biggest lesson is to lead with love, light and respect and you're gonna get it back eventually. You might meet a couple people along the way that will hurt you, but I do believe it's character development and you will grow from that and it sucks because who the fuck wants people in their life to literally be in there because you're their teacher and, and they're your lesson or you're their lesson, excuse me, because I hate being people's teacher and them walking away with a lesson from me, but the truth is is that sometimes that's just what we were brought on this earth to be and to do. Sometimes we were just brought on this earth to sometimes be the teacher of those who need teachings. I know for me, I used to think like very negative things about men. And then I met some really beautiful men along the way that taught me that that's not true. 
So there have been people in my life who were my teacher and I was the, the one that learned the lesson. So I think that empathy is, is crucial in these moments, growing from each moment, enjoying and cherishing the moments that you did have with this person. It's okay to have good moments and still walk away with your dignity and to seek revenge by not seeking it at all. I'm telling you, it will eat them alive. They're going to be so shocked. Wait, what? She doesn't care? I care, but you're never going to see me do anything about it. Because why? You didn't care about keeping me when things are good. There's no reason for you to try to get me back when things aren't. So there's that. I hope that this rant helped you. I really talked off a deep end tonight. I, I do this quite often where I don't have notes. I don't have anything. I just speak from the heart and then I end up ranting. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Anyways, I loved making it and um, I hope you guys are prepared for the videos that are to come because I have a lot in the works and um, new content is, is coming. I don't want to speak on it too soon. What did uh, Julia Fox say? She's like, I don't want to speak on it too soon, but it's a masterpiece. That's kind of where I'm at. It's, it's going to be a masterpiece, but I don't want to speak on it because I hate talking about things. I'd rather just do them. So, um, yeah, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down below how you guys have been getting your leg back in a positive way. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.